we are meant to wind up wind down you know after sunset that was the way because now we have electricity you know we have got these facilities so we can artificially create day daytime activities you humans have been allotted daytime and we rakshasas have been allotted nighttime i am that's mahabharata you know not the one day sun is rising late no suns all our atomic clocks are synced with sunrise one ten thousand part of a second sun follow exactly the programs of the universe hi welcome to kc talks there is a famous saying early to bed early to rise makes a person healthy wealthy and wise as a daily schedule of dr sadev swami he told us in the previous podcast that he wakes up as early as 3:30 or 4 so let us understand from him what are the spiritual significances in raising early hari krishna swami hari krishna so you raise every day at around 3:34 i rise yes in our movement hmm. we have we are supposed to be early risers because god rises really early <laughs> god brahma rises, muhurtam god rises early yeah krishna is awakened at for mangala aarti okay and is offering at 4 am hmm. so the reason is hmm. that's a brahma muhurtam so that's a period Hmm. when the you know all the devas demigods are actually praying to lord praying to the lord hmm. narayana offering their prayers so that's a period brahma muhurta it starts two muhurt it starts two muhurtams before sun, the sunrise okay that is 1 hour 36 minutes hmm. before the sunrise okay 96 minutes before the sunrise that and it lasts for just 48 minutes hmm so this begins 96 minutes before the sunrise this hmm. auspicious period and it ends 48 minutes before the sunrise it ends it lasts for 48 minutes one muhurta hmm. called brahma muhurta and why is it called as brahma muhurta is there anything significant brahma, with brahma brahma and all the devas are offering their prayers during this okay. time and this is where our personality is at its best okay this is the time when all our chakra our energy centers are perfectly aligned okay and anything we do at this time hmm. we can will be putting in our best mhm man this is a you can say the golden period of your day or of your life so those who miss this period actually they are missing on life in fact okay since how long have you been waking up early swami well we are, we have to because because this is a prayers mangala aarti is an essential prayer hmm so it is you know it's just such a pleasant feeling mm. and it just uh, it just feels so nice everything is calm everything is cool everything is so peaceful you know and everything is actually kind of divine during those early hours mm. and it's just that you are very fresh mm. your body is fresh you take a shower mm. very nice nice shower You just feel so nice about it you know and then gradually after the your prayers you know around 6 6 ish the sun is rising it just your day becomes so sublime mm. you know and if your every day is a sublime your life is sublime mm. and so, that is why they say jo kare mangala so na hoy kangala i am just i heard in north vrindavan this one sadhu saying this mm mm-hmm. that somebody who is actually can wake up every day in brahma muhurtam and offer his prayers and do whatever he has to do you are a student study in brahma muhurtam hmm so jo kare mangala suna hoy kangla i mean you they'll they'll be nothing wanting in your life hmm you will have all your desires fulfilled 
ओके ही नेवर बिकम अ डेस्टिट्यूट ही नेवर बी पुअर दैट सच अ पर्सन इन लाइफ यू नो दैट्स प्रोबेबली द सेइंग सेस हेल्दी वेल्दी एंड वाइज या हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड विजडम एवरी ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स कम बाय वेकिंग अप अर्ली ओके since how long are you waking up early swami well ever life? since i have been in the movement uh, more than 30 years so we are there are days when we have some in managerial position we are working up to midnight emergencies hmm. or you are some kind of sickness okay so those are exceptional but in but there. in general you you would have woken up early yes we are we have to we are you would have woken up early to, yes. in the most part of your 30 That's years of journey that's a discipline yes Mm. Actually it's too boring you know to listen something like this because you get up get to the bed early so the entire world is awake partying watching IPL matches you know movies at night you know and then you happily sleep till 7 7:30 get up you know have a small little jog or something you know So see whenever you speak something like this with sadhus and other things it feels that you know you are taking us back to some <laughs> you know very boring days so that's the understanding that most of the people have so but you are telling with your 30 years of experience you have seen lot of changes that you have got you see our civilization has progressed in the modes of passion and ignorance rajas and tamas mm. so this program is a program of goodness mm. our scriptures say that those who are actually you know spreading out their legs when the sun is rising god is of fortune lakshmi will leave them even if they are narayana okay those who are teeth are dirty those who wear torn cloths that's a fashion today mm. those who like you know so those who speak harshly mm. and those who are spreading their legs mm. at the time of sunrise and sunset even lakshmi goddess of if even if he happens to be narayana goddess of fortune lakshmi will leave him so there are some fundamentals which even birds and beasts know okay animals know do you know what time the birds wake up there will be chirping of the birds that we hear at around the morning 5 6 o'clock something like that with the sunrise mm, yeah mm. do you know what times the bats and owls they wake up the <laughs> night no sunset sunset yeah so whole whole nature follows a program you know yeah. what do you think we are so special that we can we don't have to follow any program of nature we are not special sir very we nice. are very much bound and we are paying the price see the ghostly life of the like those who are partying at you know midnight biryanis midnight parties what's happening the incidents of depression the you know substance abuse the kind of life we, we are it see it's apparent it's it's there what what's happening you know health issues this is the even the sun such a such a big body follows you know yachakshure savita sakala grahanam raja samas surmurti asesh sun you know not the one day sun is rising late no suns all our atomic clocks are synced with sunrise 110000 part of a second mm. sun follow exactly the programs of the universe so such a huge body a fulgent body follows the program to the 110000 part of a second and we are defying as humans it just doesn't work we are paying the price we keep, we are we will pay the price of defying nature so yeah. man we as human beings the day has been allotted to us mm. for our activities mm. in mahabharat when pandavas they escaped the lakshagraha fire mm. 
So they when they in forest before they just killing of the hidimba hidimba demon that incident is there. You know one as Rakshasa and he says why your people have ventured in my forest It's at night because then he says that you humans have been allotted daytime and we Rakshasas have been allotted nighttime. I'm that's Mahabharata. Mm -hmm. So point is. we are meant to wind up wind down you know after sunset that was the way because now we have electricity you know we have got these facilities so we can artificially create day daytime activities mm. but formerly it was not possible people had to follow the nature's program mm. and today by doing that you know that rajas tamas this is there are so many body clock you know the circadian, circadian rhythm circadian rhythm yeah your biological clock mm. after 10 o'clock all these uh, the the organs of our body start detoxifying function you know that's when they come in action your gall bladder your liver your intestines are active around between 4 and 5 am you know that's where you are supposed to answer the call of nature mm That's why now everybody, oh, I've got constipation. I've got pain. So if you wake up at eight o'clock, mm. you <clears throat> you go to washroom at nine a.m. That's what you'll have. That's nature. It's not natural. So I feel that there should be. We are talking of Vikshit Bharat, two thousand forty-seven. This should be a national program. You know. Five <laughs> a.m. club, five okay. a.m. club, and I would even say appeal to our honourable prime minister or whoever is responsible. Huh. Create a national awareness, a national program, an app mm. that those who can put in their silent what you call OTP mm. to prove they are they are waking up at five. Mm. So that means. you know uh, let's institute awards or uh, glory or they are like 5 am club people who can let's say 80% 70% 90% attendance in 5 am waking up and they are like you know come because if you one thing that can change your life mm. okay today today is a, we are today's date i would appeal you try for 7 days next 7 days mm. before sunrise mm. because sun is what is giving life mm. now suppose your home you invite our honorable prime minister mm. or chief minister and the cavalcade arrives they arrive and you are sleeping how does it look very bad you got to welcome you should mm. be ready yeah 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 dressed up mm. that's our philosophy that sun is rising sun mm. is the source of life you agree yeah agreed and you are unconscious that was vedic culture before sunrise that's a deva snan brahma muhurta is snan is deva snan mm. then man, after sunrise is manushya snan mm. for a certain period and then is rakshasa snan you know mm. so our as per scriptures we have before sunrise we have to be ready mm. dressed up so no, very wonderful valid point swami ji so mm. our whole existence is because of sun the entire plant photosynthesis and everything that you can see energy uh, you know your your fire in the belly everything is related your hunger everything is related to sun because there are some people my colleagues who have gone to sweden finland norway and they gone in those winter times where they get to see no sun and they said when we no don't see a sun we feel very you know yeah the incidents of depression mm. are very high in yeah. countries which remain dark for longer yes rates of suicides mm. you know and mental disorders so very valid point that you gave in this podcast is that when such a you know wonderful sun you know either you call him demigod you call him a divine being so when he is coming and he is coming for us yes. we are getting benefited out of us all the day 
and when you don't respect him like the like the analogy that you took that the prime minister comes to you and you should be awake like that when a person or who is the highest well being of yours you know he is coming into the world and then you are asleep it makes no sense from an ethical moral sense it doesn't make any sense for me so expressing that gratitude and welcoming him that is what you are telling yeah you know. that is why there was program of sandhya trikala sandhya mm at sunrise mm. at mid noon mm. and sunset mm. you got to perform sandhyas ceremonies mm. you know mm. sandhya vandana vandana sandhya vandana programs are, are were there are there many people do that mm. so there is a, these are human consideration and see the see the birds mm. sunrise they wake sunset mm. they retire mm. for us there is no shift night shift midnight shift midnight biryani this no we are defying all the law do you know after sunsets the birds don't eat yeah they don't eat yeah. they don't eat even mm. if you offer mm. that is why they don't have these mental institutions and dental programs and you know big big corporate hospitals <laughs> because they follow the nature you know mm. god's schedule they follow yeah i tell you that our india we should have this program in policy mm. our medical bill medical outlay national outlay will come down at least by 30% Beautiful. you know the all the diseases are coming from sleep deprivation mm. diabetes is a f- is greatly impacted by sleep deprivation you know mm. all this problem disbalances pro- diseases are the results of disbalances and disbalances start when your sleep is you you know disrupting your sleep patterns definitely when your psych- uh, circadian rhythm that everything is, is related to that to that, that yeah but uh, swami ji one uh, question um, you know it makes a person healthy wealthy and wise so you showed us wisdom by stating that if you are dependent on sun for everything so having gratitude and welcoming into the world that is wisdom for me and then second thing you said uh, the first thing is uh, healthy you would address how does it make wealthy <laughs> you you heard the english saying early bird catches the worm yes you see the successful ceos hmm. successful businessman hmm. somewhere you'll find that they sleep their sleep is very regulated Mm. they are early risers because if you if you wake up 8 am and your whole day you got to rush through you know mm. those who are if you wake up very early you can plan your day you can what you can accomplish in those early hours you can never accomplish throughout the day mm. so your Uh, your whole success of the day actually is dependent on so the early bird catches the worm that's why in english says mm. so there are so many factors and so the aura that you laminate those who are early risers those mm-hmm. who are the mode of goodness satvik existence the more once you situate yourself in early rising in mode of goodness mm. that goodness will carry you through throughout the day mm. calm and composed and organized you know mm. and conquering the first battle guda kesha mm. guda kesha is one who has conquered sleep mm. once you can con- conquer your bed like this mm. you will be able to conquer anything else in life okay before trying to conquer the world conquer yourself beautiful and conquering yourself mean first conquering the sleep mm. kicking out okay kicking out kicking the bed at 5 4:30 am that's it then you are then so don't people are trying to conquer the world without trying to conquer their own selves mm. so self discipline so you are telling all these big ceos Yes they have a great self discipline due to which they have they are able to conquer And if somebody is not having self discipline become CEO he may not be lasting very long very there long. in that okay. position makes a lot of sense you know this discipline and all swami ji it looks too boring and to fo- you know forcing on on this generation you know uh, so we only think of discipline uh, either in an army or 
uh, in a navy kind of no, you know thing let's say this generation when you mean it's boring don't they have to follow like work timings this generation work timings are not uh, waking up early you know they'll go to work at 10 o'clock but at least 10 o'clock they got to report huh yeah yeah at least by 10 11 o'clock they have to so report. they have to follow discipline no but i'll tell you an information swami ji yeah. in the west have seen in america in europe also you need to report to the office by 8 they are early risers actually yes you only in india i'm saying day by day yes and they early wa- india was i have seen that consistently our uh, we have shifted hmm. because night life indians were not active it's a urban new phenomena you know? yes, it's a new phenomena and media onset of media communication revolution you know screen programs watching hmm. so it is going on consist we are actually but many countries yes they start early on you know hmm. so i think uh, there should be a national program national awareness Mm. a national you know consciousness has to evolve in this direction yeah early rising you know you rightly said that we need to fix this because our country is becoming a very late rising country no it's not a, not a healthy thing and mm. it it signifies it's it's oh, it sets us backward you know okay any another significant point other than healthy wealthy and wise you see the anything you do early morning Mm. let me tell you from financial district to our secunderabad now you drive how long it will take 2 hours 2 hours straight yeah, yeah. morning 4 o'clock if you have to drive the 40, same 40 40 45 minutes even early i would say yeah maybe less than that yeah. 35 30 minutes mm, yeah. 35 minutes you can yes see what happens early morning all the highways are clear of our <laughs> brain <you laughs> okay know? Yeah, mm. so whatever is just goes in mm. processing happens faster mm. so that is why i said healthy well wealthy also mm. that is the ideas will come up you know mm. ideas will crop up that time that's where our highways are straight you drive early morning you know mm. so very golden period mm. and we are those who miss that and you know they they miss the very opportunity of human life you know mm. it's a whole whole dimension of life is being missed when you miss the early mornings you know no oh, okay it's a very wonderful point so you so you can get up early morning and if somebody has a mental disorder or somebody has anxiety somebody has any kind of you know anger issues relationship issues you think getting up early in the morning and either meditating or doing japa like you people tell will that solve his problem that that can solve so many problems okay so of course one should have some something to do in the morning first of all there should be motivation what i'm going to do otherwise so there should be a some program so when that's why we have our studies mm. we have our prayers so there is an incentive there is so much to do in the morning Mm. we chant our rounds you know mm. maha mantra hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari hari ram hari ram 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 this maha mantra mm. we chant you know 1728 times the full mantra okay so there is there is so much to do so we should you should everybody should find out mm. what he or she can do mm. and go about it you know mm. and it is just a it is just a, nothing is impossible it just requires some will power mm. do you know if you go to airport at 3am do you know all the desks are there all the crew is everybody is there so people are waking up it's not that nobody wakes up right yeah pilots are you know sharp they are there not that oh everybody is sleeping airport is locked It doesn't happen mm. no no they are doing this 24 by 7 shifts multiple shifts no? and traffic is on you know mm. the roads are busy everything happens so people are waking up mm. but uh, it is that because they've got a, got a paycheck will come so they are waking up no mm. this you don't need that incentive to wake up you know mm. you, we we should wake up to a higher paycheck you know <laughs> that's paycheck is spirituality spirituality and your health and your mm. sane mind mm. you know and everything actually 
how confident are you that waking up early will solve you know individual problems and nation problems also yeah there is a rider hmm. that for that you have to your sleep deprivation again is not a solution hmm. so that means you got to wind down uh, that that waking up starts previous day hmm. not that it's just like people complain of constipation and they think of it in in their toilet mm. that thinking has to happen on the dining table not in the toilet yeah so same way your waking up has to happen you know that that thought has to be it's what time you hit the bed you know my question was how confident are you that waking up early will solve the yes, real problems so of society yes so i'm coming to your and, point uh, if they properly go to bed little early without mm. you know just mindlessly scrolling or just chit chatting or just wasting time until midnight mm. if they go to bed early mm. and their proper sleep is there then a major part of our life problems will be taken care of that's what i am saying and as per ayurveda sleep before midnight counts twice mm. and sleep after midnight counts half Oh okay. So 9 to 12 if you sleep hmm. just 3 hours that has an impact of like you feel you would feel like sleeping 6 hours and 12 am to 6 am you have slept. Hmm. But that will ref- you will feel like you have just you know or might as per ayurveda it's like you have slept 3 hours. Okay. So night was called 3 ama. Mm. and it started with each yama is 3 hours and it starts with sunset mm. and 3 hours before sunrise you know mm. so that is the ayurveda's program the vedic program is to sleep in the bef- as you hit the second yama mm. that means 6 o'clock generally is the sunset so by 9 night between 9 and 10 mm. you are supposed to hit the bed but that's when now now the even uh, life doesn't start at 9 pm <laughs> you know 10 pm yes no i have seen significant difference way from and, my childhood and those who those who eat it give 2 3 hours before sleeping those who eat that's where you digest late night dinners are actually the cause of all all your health and you know mental issues yes. because you are trying to sleep and the stomach is grinding whole night where mm. is the rest mm. and sleep and no wonder it's a we are a sleep deprived uh, civilization today and that leads to so much of problem you know yeah i've seen a significant difference from the lifestyle that we had in our childhood and the lifestyle i'm seeing now so in the name of progress in the name of development and civilization we have really you know crossed some barriers that we should not have crossed with the nature so thank you so much for your insight on um, on this issue of uh, early risers so may all the people take a benefit out of it and as a swami ji you're quite confident that a person wakes up in the morning and does his whatever practice of spirituality he does it would benefit him all the day thank you so much swami ji hare krishna, hare krishna.